Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna do a uh, traditional sugar skull makeup today. Um, we're using all drugstore products for the most part, so you can go to your local Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and pick these up, and uh, make yourself look like a sugar skull ready to celebrate your ancestors and those loved ones that have passed on to the next life. And then just start going to town on your face. You can choose to do a full face or half a face. This celebration has been going on for hundreds of years. Apparently it's been celebrated. Uh, the origin is traced back to the Aztecs that they used to celebrate the goddess of the underworld. Um, and when the Spanish colonized it, the Mexicans took on the same tradition. We're gonna kind of start drawing in the skull aspect of it. So we can start with, we start on the inside of your eye right here. Just kind of follow the shape of your natural eye socket. And just draw in as big as you want or as small as you want. It's totally up to you. Fine. So we're gonna move on to the nose. You can do whatever shape you like. You can do an abstract nose like this. You can use more of a paintbrush and kind of really make it like a little pointed nose. So on the cheeks you're trying to look for, you can even feel it on your skin. You can kind of feel where your cheekbone is and you can either trace it. You want to kind of go from the top of your tragus, this little nub in your ear, and you kind of want to pull right down to your lip line if you'd like. Some people just do the mouth and do the lip line. Um, I prefer this way just because I like how it looks and I can kind of shadow in this cheek area and make it look kind of hollow, make it look more like a skeleton. So here we go. Um, don't worry if you don't get it completely symmetrical. So then what you can do after you do this is you can add a little bit of shadowing. And since nothing is set, everything is still cream blends pretty easily. Okay, so now we're gonna try and hit the top of the face. You can kind of contour in, make it look more skeleton-like. I think that's what I'm really kind of going for with that before I do any of the colors. So I'm just gonna take some of my powder and just kind of clop it on my face here. I just have this uh, multicolor eyeshadow palette. You can use any colors you want. I'm gonna kind of pull inspiration from my shirt and my backdrop. It's like a um, death is inevitable sort of situation, you know? And if you look at it from a happier perspective than the, the loss, I feel like it's just a nicer way to really think about those things who have moved on. You get, you get to really celebrate a, the time that you spent together. You get to be really you know, grateful that you spent however many years or however much time you had with that person. Um, what you can do really easily is you can layer like the oily or the glittery type of eyeshadows on top of the black and it gives it a really cool effect. Green uh, or a white under base, you know, you can, you can always just do a completely white base and then use eyeshadows. Okay, so I've got a super easy way to do scalloping around the edges. And you're just gonna push it down and press it towards the inside of the eye. You're just pushing and flicking for the most part. And don't worry. You mess up, you can wipe it all off, start all over. It's no big deal. Have a little drip. And then, if you'd like, you can put a little flares on your cheek. Take the same brush you were using to apply your base. Just kind of what I like to do is I like to add a little bit of black in the back end, so in that way it looks like black on the inside of your lips, so that way it looks a little bit more, a little more contrast. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go with the traditional lines. Um, if you wanna do teeth, you can. Okay, so once you get done with the you can go ahead and put some on your cheeks. 
put some on your chin. You can cover your whole face in gems. I've seen people use them for teeth. People are really going all out with um, sugar skulls nowadays. Just a little bit of lip color. And we're good. And this is a really quick, very easy go-to makeup. If you want to make a headpiece, just go to your local craft store, grab a couple of different flowers, hot glue gun, and you're good to go.